do you curl me up? Buttercup, baby, just to let it down. I need my groover around. Welcome to HSI Professional. I'm Gia Vittoria, and today we're gonna talk about using a curling wand. Now, a curling wand is not like a regular curling iron. It doesn't have a clip, so you will need a glove. This is our one inch groover, and this is actually our groover kit. So you can change the barrel for different sizes and kinds of curls. So our groover wand has a temperature of up to 450 degrees. Make sure you choose the correct temperature for your hair. Now with the curling wand, it's gonna be a little different than the iron because if you have stubborn hair and your hair is very straight, you will need a higher temperature to hold the curl in place longer. So with any hot tool, you wanna to make sure to protect your hair first. This is our Thermal Protector Argon Oil Spray, and I'm just gonna spray it all over my hair, nice and evenly, so when I go in with the curling iron, the hair is protected from getting burned. You wanna wait until your hair is completely dry before you ever touch it with a hot tool. I'm gonna start by sectioning off my hair. And I'm gonna work in about one to two inch sections around the head, starting from the bottom up. So once your iron is ready to go, you're gonna wanna put your glove on. And I'm right-handed, so I like to hold my iron in my right hand. You're gonna wanna take a small section of hair and you can either hold your barrel down or you can hold your barrel up and wrap around. And then you're just gonna wanna hold that hair, count to maybe 10 seconds and then let it go. And you can drop it into your hand and hold it while it cools off and that will make your curl last longer. You can also place a clip and clip this down and clip all the curls around your head if your hair is very stubborn and you want a tighter curl. So once you have a few curls done, you're gonna wanna hit it with a little bit of hairspray. Now you can Use a little bit of hairspray throughout the hair before curling. If your hair is very straight and doesn't hold a curl well, that will help your hair to hold a curl. Just make sure that your hair is completely dry before you touch it with the iron. So what I'm doing, right now I'm using the tapered barrel and this will give you a tighter curl as it gets to the bottom. But I'm taking section and then I'm holding the iron here against my head, making sure not to touch it to my head. And I'm wrapping the hair around. And when I'm wrapping the hair, I'm twisting it because I have layers. You can lay the hair flat, but then you won't get as nice of a finish on the end. So you can wrap them all in the same direction or like I'm doing right now, I wrapped that one back. So I'm going to wrap this one forward. Counting to 10 and then letting the curl go. So that one was forward. I'm taking the iron against the head, not touching the head but just holding it near the head and wrapping around. And you can just hold this little piece and the glove will help to keep you from burning yourself. Now with something like the four piece set, you get different sizes of barrels and this will give you different curl looks. 
So if you want more of a wave, you would use a bigger barrel and that will give you less curl. There's also a smaller barrel to give you a tighter curl. So you would choose your barrel according to the desired style. So to clean your iron, you're going to want to wipe it down with a warm, damp cloth. And storing the iron, you're going to want to fold up your cord. And once you're all folded, you can take the handy little strap that we have on all of our cords, wrap it around and stick it in place. Now your iron is ready for storage. Be careful when storing that you're not putting any pressure on the cord. This could cause your cord to fray or even cause your iron to stop working. 